Hong Kong's second Belt and Road Summit and online opportunities within the initiative were in the spotlight, including business-to-consumer models and others as described by young business leader Pavut Pong Vidyapanu from Thailand. Your company, which is called Tarad, is very much uh, what we'd call a new kind of e-company. It's been likened, I think, to Amazon, yes. but in the Asian area. So what is the key to this model, would you say? We provide an uh, e-commerce solution for the business in, in Thailand that who want to sell in, 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 in online. We provide a solution like a platform, payment, including like a logistic and everything, like end-to-end. -end. You just come and you just sell in the, you know, we have a four million people in our website like now. So this is very much pertinent to the Belt and Road Initiative. Yep. How do you see this into the future in the next few years? Because now today we are really focusing into more domestic uh, e-commerce. But when the build a lot is coming, um, that means uh, in terms of collaboration between we can sell product not only in domestically, we can sell to any way in around the world. That means if we have the, uh, the, the, the infrastructure connected to our country, that means we can sell abroad easily. Because now today when the people in overseas, just one click they can buy stuff from Thailand and then Thailand can buy stuff from overseas very really easily. So you really see Thailand as being central to the kind of output that you're going to have along the Belt and Road. Yep. How important is Hong Kong going to be? I think Hong Kong is a, like, uh, it's a gateway to mainland China. The Hong Kong is one of the key for, for, for Thailand and including the ASEAN that we can access to, to, to the whole world too. You have to open a company in Singapore or Hong Kong. But actually now I have a company in Hong Kong right now to expand my business to overseas too. So you're here at the Belt and Road Summit in Hong Kong. How important is the summit, would you say, and what's your impression of it to the Build and Broad is something like a new project for, for some people that they never really liked before and some infrastructure that are, we're going to have it in a few years. That is really important, that's why when uh, this summit is going to be encouraged and stimulate more people to understand what's going to happen in a few years from now.